Hello and welcome back to the channel. This will be the fourth video in my React Native Payload CMS series showing how to use Payload CMS as a backend for a React Native Expo application. The rest of the series you can see here, it's all uploaded to my YouTube channel. We have three other videos. All together looks like it's gonna be about two hours worth of content probably by the time I'm all done. And I'll post this last one on YouTube also. It's the package that I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with. Leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are. So this is what's been accomplished in the final video. This is more of like a cleanup wrap-up video to make the solution a little bit more of a complete project. And so what I'll do is I'll walk through the changes that I made on the back end, that's what this refactor notes collection is. So we'll talk about payload. And then I'll walk through the things that I did to kind of clean up the front end of the application so that you get a look like this. All right. Thanks for coming all the way through the series. This is the fourth video. And let's get to the code. So first, let's talk about what we did in the back end. Uh, it looks like we cleaned up the access rules. We've already implemented authentication. So when you log in, let me log out. So when you log in, uh, that's not a user. All right, let's just look in the back end and see. So let's open up the back end of the application. All right, let's blow this up a bit. All right, so for users, we have our admin, our non-admin one, and our non-admin two. So first we'll show, I'm logging as the admin, so the admin has access to everything. Let's go through the rules first. Let's, let's do it that way. All right, just to bring you all back to speed, this is my notes collection that I have here. And it's got all the basic information, the media, whether it's private or not, tags, and some content. But then up here I have the access. Right, so who can create, who can read, who can update, and who can delete. And I've kind of moved them all out into a separate module called access.ts. So here we can just walk through the rules. I have a function to test to see if you're an admin, and basically all I do is I pull the user object that gets passed in, and I check the role to see if the role is admin. For owner, I check to see if someone's logged in, and then if, I, if someone is logged in, then what you can do in these access methods, you can pass a query back. And so the query I pass back is, hey, does the ID of my user match the ID of the owner of this document? So that's his owner. And then is public determines if the document's public or not. There's a flag on the document called private. It just does that check. And then here's the access control for actually creating a note. Any user can create a note. If you're not a user, you cannot create a note. Access control for reading notes. Admins can read all notes. Owners can only read their notes. And public notes can be read by anyone. So here's the first one. I use my isAdmin function. If you're an admin, it returns true. And then if not, I have this query. And it returns if you're the owner or if it is public, you can read. Access control for updating. Admins can do everything. Only update. Only owners can update. If you're an admin, return true. If you're an owner, then you can do it. Same rules for delete. And then I just export them all in the module. And so then, as, you, as I said before, they're all imported here. So that's how we're controlling access. So we can see that a little bit with the admin tool. So let's open up the... Back end. So right now, I am logged in as the admin. So if I go back to my notes, you can see I can see all of the notes. And I put private flag, and I put the private flag on here so you can see everything. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to log in as non-admin1. And what you'll notice is that I'll only be able to see the public documents, but I won't be able to see anything that's private. So these this admin expo node I won't like all these down here in the bottom I will not be able to see so let's log in as this guy non-admin
when I go to notes, you can see the list of notes I can see is re reduced drastically. So I can see the non-admin note because I, I am now logged in as the non-admin one. And so I could see non-admin one, non-admin one. I could see this non-admin two because it's not a private note. I could see the non-admin one and I could see the admin note, which is not private. And so what has happened is you can see this manifest itself in the, in the um, application because when I make the REST API calls to query the data, it's honoring the access controls that are placed here on the collection. So let me log in as non-admin one, mail.com, sign in, that's non. So now I'm logged in and you can see, I can see not created on device, first dot non-admin, first dot non-admin, public, this is the non-admin one private note. You can see it's marked as private, non-admin right here. It's marked as private, it's got the little guy next to it, and then the other document, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, where's my last document? Oh, there it is. The note with image, uh, note with image. Right now, just to show some things that I did on the front end also in cleaning this up. So let's go back to my note to make sure that I've covered it. So we've added the access rules, moved the access rules to a separate module, and we added a private flag to collection view. So let's go back here and see. This is the private flag that we've added that determines if a note is public or private or not. So that was the other change that we made. Let's bring this back up so we can see that in action. So right here, I am logged in. If you look at the profile, you can see I'm logged in as non-admin one. It has all my notes, what's public and what's private. I go back to my notes. I can click on my note and here I have a bunch of different options. I can delete my note. I can make it public so everyone can see it or I can do nothing. And then if you look at this public note, just clicking on the note gives me a blown up version of the image. Since it is a, since it's not my note, because I'm not admin one, I don't have access to all these other features. All I can do is view it. So let's, so here's another example of it. All I can do is view the image blown up because I'm not the admin. But for this one, since I am the admin, I can switch this over and I can make this public note. So now I just made an API call. This first thought non-admin private has now been switched to public. So if I refresh, you can see first note non-admin one private right here. Private flag is set to false. Let's change this. It's now been updated and you can see the change here. It's now, um, excuse me, it's public now. So that's the private public. We showed how you can only see notes based on their privacy status. So let's clean that. Let's kind of be a little bit more harsh with this. Let's go back to notes. I can't update any of these other notes. So you see if I open this note by the admin, everything's disabled. I cannot do anything with it. I can read it because it's public, but I cannot modify it. Same thing with this over here in the app. I can read the note from the admin user, but I cannot modify it. I can only view it. So the access roles are done. And, and to be honest with you, it was way easier to implement the access roles here than, in my opinion, implementing access roles in Superbase with role level security and implementing access roles in Firebase with Firebase rules. I, I just think the way that they've implemented this is pretty straightforward and easy to manage. So we've covered privacy rules, access roles, admin and other users pretty well. Let's just kind of walk through some of the other things that we did in the app. If I look at my checklist here, let's put my checklist over. So the image upload should happen when the user creates a document. So let's just show how we create a document. So we say create note to so make sure we get the image. Uh, new note with image. Uh, 
And let's put the tags back in. One comma two comma three. I believe the error is that it doesn't automatically upload the image. I need to upload the image manually first, which is kind of a pretty bad oversight, but that's what it is. Let's mark this as private. Let's create the note. And this is the private note with the new image uploaded. And let's go back to our CMS. Uh, I spelt it wrong. New note with image. And you can see that it's from, who's the author, the non-admin one. So that's the non-admin one. Also notice in the UI, we don't show the name of the document when you have created it. So that's the creating of a document. Let's see, I can, I can delete my document. So you know we can delete notes. Um, what else did we add here? So yeah, I have this button here. It's a bug, it won't upload when there's no tag in the UI, fix that. Yeah, this checkbox, you saw how I made the note private. We added the owner information so you can see who owns which note. And then you can look at the profile here and it has the information on the login user, the role, which notes they have, which notes are public and which notes are private. Uh, remove the note ID from the UI so the UI can be cleaner. We've added the update, clean up date formatting. So we have the date formatted properly. We have nice tab icons down here for the note and the profile. We, and we've updated the profile page to kind of include the JSON. Like I said, this is gonna be a short wrap up video. It was really just about the access and to show how we implemented access and how it manifests itself in React. And like I said, I wanted to keep this short and simple. Hopefully you enjoyed the series. If you just hopped in on the last video, I encourage you to kind of start back at the beginning to walk through to see how the whole thing was put together and leave a comment if you liked it. Leave a comment on what other content you'd like to see. Thanks, and I'll see you next time. Bye.